that wasn't suggestive at all. So Musubi fights off the twins, and they decide, fuck it, we out this bitch. After they leave, they run into Homura, an annoying little bitch slash bastard, since they continuously address him as a man. But seriously, look at his face! Look at his figure and listen to his voice and tell me if that is a man! But now, that girl has finally met her Ashikabi. And fights between emerged Sekireis are something that I have no interest in. That is not a dude! You and those two girls, what the heck are you? We're what you would call... Sekireis. Well, thank you ever so much for clearing that up for us. Your extremely detailed explanation has no doubt left a very profound impact on my knowledge of Sekireis. And what was up with the way she said Sekireis? Sekireis. Is she advertising a new Calvin Klein product? Sekirei's. Sekirei, Calvin Klein, timeless fragrances for otaku. So we cut to the two of them back home when suddenly... The TV? It's been on? Hey! Wait! Don't turn it off! <laughs> My dear boy, you've just become partners with the Sekirei. Congratulations! Professor! You know this guy? Of course. He's my professor and the company president. So this is Hiroto Minaka, the president of the conglomerate MBI, played by Chuck Huber, who sounds like he's channeling Vincent Price for some reason. The Sekirei plan. That's the name of the game in which you've become a major player as of today. So this is a game? Now, do you understand the rules? I think... If I understand correctly, Musubi's a Sekirei, and Sekireis have to secretly fight with each other. I'm her partner, and I'm what's called an Ashikabi. Right? Wow. I don't know whether they're trying to imply by that extremely prolonged and artsy shot of the light that he was being explained the Sekirei plan, or if even he's just totally aware of how cliched this plotline is. I'm gonna go with the latter. This game is a highly confidential project. You cannot tell another soul about it, so keep your mouth shut or else. Oh yes, highly confidential. That must be why they were doing such a great job keeping a low profile in town while they were running through the streets and throwing lightning around all over the goddamn place. No, I didn't tell anybody anything! After that, MBI sends someone over to deliver Musubi's clothes, because God knows she's going to need every outfit she can get. And that's when... I knew it! Oh. Uh, I can explain! Uh, th th this is my... Uh, 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 <laughs> Jesus, seriously, bass lips, go get yourself laid or something. Sheesh! So Minato and Musubi spend the rest of the next day hunting down a new apartment. But hey, guess what? Being a loser doesn't quite sit well with any right-minded realtor. Who would have guessed? Hey, tell me something. Yes? I'm your Ashikabi, right? Why me? I'm not good enough. I'm nothing special. I failed the college entrance exam not just once, but twice. Nashikami should be someone special, right? Me? I'm anything but that. Um... I I'm sorry, I, I know you're trying to have a moment here, but i just like to point out how enjoyable I find it that he is so self-aware. That even he realizes what a huge, steaming pile of anime blandness he is. Uh, all right, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please, please, go on. You can't tell because of the rain now, but there's supposed to be a beautiful moon out tonight. You're wrong. You're incredibly special. You being you is what makes you special, so never forget that. <sighs> what the hell? How does she segue from him talking about how lame he is to talking about how there's a full moon out, back into talking about how he's special? I swear, I'll do anything for you, whatever you could possibly wish for. I would even break through those clouds to reach the moon. And someday, to the higher sky above. Well, shall we go? Let me tell you a story from long ago. 
Once upon a time, the gods lived above us in a place called the High Plain of Heaven. One day, a ship with the gods' treasures came down to the earth, and that vessel was called the Great Stone Ship of Heaven. It's an old legend, one so faded that it's not even chronicled in the most ancient of history books. But a new legend that won't be forgotten has already begun. 108 Sekireis have been loosed. They'll do battle with each other all over the city. They'll do this for their Ashikabis. The last Sekirei standing will then lead their Ashikabi up to the higher sky above, and the fate of the world will rest in their grasp. And so it begins. This brand new legend, a chronicle of war, and a love story for the ages. After I flunked the entrance exam for the second time, that was when I first met Musubi. So that was Sekirei. How was it? Well, what can you say, really? I mean, granted, a central theme of the show, I guess, is that no matter how ordinary you may seem, you being yourself makes you unique, and who you are is what sets you apart from everyone else in the world. Which I suppose is nice, but it simply gets lost and muddled in all the TNA and, frankly, underwhelming action sequences. The character models are alright, and they're pretty consistent throughout the show, but considering that it's only 12 episodes long, that's really not saying that much. On top of that, the characters are totally weak and forgettable. Each one simply plays out their roles as their respected character archetypes, such as the glasses girl, the charming dits, the loli, and the sundere, who for some reason speaks in old Shakespearean English, and... Yeah, it's about as annoying as you'd think it is. Character interactions are pretty shallow as well. I mean, a character that absolutely loathes another at the beginning of an episode will suddenly have their world revolving around that person. And yes, I'm talking to you, ye oldie blonde tsundere! Additionally, the show's plot is weird, fragmented, and it's never explained even by the ending. Yes, I know there's another season out, but why even do that? If the show failed, there would be no incentive to making a second season. Then what? We're just left with... nothing. Well, I digress, in terms of a weak and pointless fan service show, you can definitely find worse out there. And if you want to watch it for some sort of substance, eh, I wouldn't waste my time. If you want to watch it just to see some things jiggle and to just shut your brain off for a while and let the anime have its way with you, at least you won't feel all that dirty about watching it. Now excuse me, I've got to go and prepare for October 21st. Oh, man.